This tutorial describes how to apply a temperature in thermal, static, and buckling analysis, in LISA. In static and buckling analysis, the interest is in the induced stress, or the buckling factor, on account of a temperature change. In thermal analysis, the interest is in the heat flow between areas of different temperatures. Temperature is applied by selecting an edge, or face. Right-clicking, Loads and Constraints, and selecting New Temperature. In thermal analysis, an applied temperature, is a fixed temperature, at that edge, or face. An applied temperature, in static and buckling analysis, is the final temperature of that edge, or face. For applying the initial temperature, no elements are needed to be selected, simply right-click, Loads and Constraints, then select New Thermal Stress. A thermal coefficient of expansion, needs to be specified in the material, associated with the elements. In a transient thermal analysis, a temperature can be applied to an edge, or face. Right-click, Loads and Constraints, and select New Temperature. If the applied temperature is for the full duration of the analysis, select the checkbox for Apply at all times. And, type the value of the applied temperature. If the applied temperature is not for the full duration of the analysis, deselect, apply at all times, and type the time over which the temperature is to be applied for the analysis. If the applied temperature varies with time, use the table option, to list the times and corresponding temperatures. LISA will interpolate, between the different temperatures specified. For example, consider a transient thermal analysis over a period of 450 seconds. During the first 40 seconds, an edge is heated up from 20 degrees Celsius, to 80 degrees Celsius, and then, it is no longer heated. In the table, specify 0 for the starting time, and its corresponding temperature, 20. Then, specify 40 for the end time of the applied heat and its corresponding temperature, 80. LISA will interpolate the increase in temperature, from 20 to 80, and apply it to the time steps in between. As this temperature increase, is applied for only 40 seconds, deselect, apply at all times, and type 0 for the start time, and 40 for the end time. The timeline at the bottom of the preprocessor shows the values of the applied temperature over the duration of the analysis. In the postprocessor, a node can be clicked and the timeline will show the variation of the temperature or heat at that node over the duration of the analysis. For radiation problems, temperatures must be specified in Kelvin. If there is no radiation involved, you can use Celsius, Fahrenheit or Kelvin. This ends the tutorial on using temperatures in LISA. Please view the tutorial on performing a thermal stress analysis, where a thermal analysis is first performed, and the temperatures are then transferred to a static analysis model, for a stress analysis.